Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna do a full day of eating, but it's gonna be a little different guys because this time we are trying to build muscle. So as you guys know, for those of you who are new, typically I do the ketogenic diet about nine to 10 months out of the year. Um, this year I did it a little more than 10 months. So these next two months, I'm gonna just take a break from keto, uh, take a break from really, really low carb, and I'm gonna start implementing carbs into my diet. Now, reason for that being is it's the holiday season, guys. I'm gonna eat carbs already, okay? Cause you know, Thanksgiving's coming up and Christmas and all the family holidays. I got a big ass Mexican family, if you don't already know this. So we like to get together. And so again, these next two months, I just take a break from dieting, guys. I take a break from macros. You know, as you guys know, I just did a show a couple of weeks ago. I did the keto cut at the beginning of January. So I have been strict on food, strict on macros, strict on keto, strict on low carb for more than 10 months out of the year. Give me a break, <laughs> right? I need a break or I don't wanna be thinking about any of that stuff. So, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you every single meal, go over the macros, go over like, you know, how I make it and what's in it. So maybe you guys can pick up some ideas for meals because these meals are the bomb. Also guys, one other thing, I am very blessed that this is my office. Yes, this is my office. This is not my home. If you guys know me, like Logan, your kitchen looks so clean and different. <laughs> Um, yes, this is not uh, this is not my house. This is my office. I office right next door to the best restaurant in the world, Gaines Bakery. So they make majority of all my food. So yes, I am lucky. So um, I typically get about two to three meals from them a day. I'll show you what's in it. Again, those meals are very simple to make if you want to make them. So, anyways, guys, welcome to a full day of eating. Before we start our first meal, you know what we got to do. You know what we got to do. Actually, we got to do two things. If you watch this right now, you know what that means. That means that you woke up somewhere, something that you are winning. So all your stress, all your problems can't phase you, can't phase me, because you and I are already winning, fam. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, you know what we got to do. What's coming up? Go ahead, comment down below. You know what's coming. We got to knock out some faster cardio, guys. So let's do the damn thing. All right guys, so just knocked out 30 minutes. Quick little 30 minute workout. And now it's time for the first meal of the day. So I'm gonna show you what I have and show you the reasoning why I have this meal uh, because you're probably gonna wonder, where the heck are the carbs at? I'll explain later. Okay guys, so the lighting is a little bad here, so hopefully we can work with this. Okay, so first meal of the day, guys, this is one of my favorite meals. This is called Frenchie eggs. So essentially what it is, six egg whites with some blueberries, as you can see right here. Let me pull this up. Hopefully you guys can see that. I know very, very harsh lighting in the morning in the office. And we got some zero calorie Walden Farm syrup. I gotta show this, I have to show this. Come on, here we go. This is the best part. This is, this is what's gonna make everybody just wet <laughs> watching this. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Yes, that is how you do it, guys. That is the Frenchy eggs right there. Also, we have a black coffee. Got a black coffee right here. And this is a hack, guys. So. If you're on the go and you need that protein coffee and you want that fix and you don't want to use creamer or heavy whipping cream, guys, use one of these Quest RTDs ready to drink. I always like to go with the salted caramel, but I'm telling you, since I've started doing this, it's been an absolute game changer. Game changer for people. People have been tagging me like, oh my God, Logan, thank you so much for showing me this. So essentially all you're doing is you're gonna use the Quest Protein RTD drink uh, and, and substitute it for creamer. So no more using creamer, no more using anything else. Just pour it in like so. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so sexy. And look, you get that nice coffee creamer look to it. Cause you all know you can't drink coffee unless it looks like this. So there you go guys. That is going to be meal number one for the day. Macros, boom, right here. And yes, typically in the mornings guys, the first meal, I normally don't like to start off with a lot of carbs. I like to keep it super high protein with moderate fat. Also one other thing that I totally forgot, totally forgot. One minute. Wow. Can't believe I almost forgot this. We forgot the peanut butter. So I'm going to do a serving of peanut butter, which comes out to about a good scoop. 
So a good scoop is gonna be around 32 grams. So that little scoop right there. Top that on the eggs. There we go, now it's complete. Look at that, look how sexy that looks. That is absolutely food porn, guys. Oh man, look how delicious that looks. Okay, so um, like I said, I like to just have fats, a very little bit of carbs, and very high protein for the first meal of the day. So here it is, guys. I don't want it to get cold. I'm gonna scarf this, and we'll see you on meal number two. All right, guys, so we are in the studio now. For those of you who may or may not know this, I this is where I do shoot content for our app, guys. As you know, we just launched our Fast Coach app a couple of weeks ago. Super excited, it's been killing it. If you haven't downloaded it, what are you doing? What are you doing, fam? Do you even support me, guys? Come on, there's a link in the description below. It's a free app, it's on the Google Play Store, it's on the Apple Store, it's called Fast Coach App. If you're into intermittent fasting, if you're into tracking your ketones, if you're into tracking your continuing glucose, if you're into tracking your energy levels, if you're into participating in some of the most awesome community-wide challenges and getting healthier with your friends, then this is the app for you. Like I said, it is in the Google Play Store and the Apple Store, so make sure you go download it i gotta film a couple of challenges today for the app and then we'll have our meal number two for the day so i'll see you in a bit energy and exercise challenge so today i really want you to focus on staying active i don't care what you do whether that's going for a hike whether that's playing with the kids going to the park Okay, so you just saw how meal number two looks. This is what we call the sweet and nutty bowl at Gaines Bakery. So what this is, this is gonna be ground turkey. Now it could be ground chicken, ground whatever. Um, today we went with uh, ground turkey instead of ground chicken. We're gonna have a serving of vegetables. So we got some broccoli and some cauliflower as well. It's also gonna have the sweet poppy sauce. I'll show you that sweet poppy sauce looks right here. Gaines Bakery Sweet Poppy Sauce. Now you guys know, if you're watching this channel, you know I rave about Gaines Bakery diet hacking sauces. They're absolutely phenomenal. Also, we got the Sriracha Maple Vinaigrette, just to give it that little kick of spice. Cause you know, I love me some spice, baby. And then, as always, we are gonna top this off with some peanut butter. Cause peanut butter makes everything taste good. Now, one other thing that you can't see at the bottom of this bowl right here, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty deep. You could probably only see about right there. So on the bottom of this, we have a hundred grams of white rice. Now, like I said, I am starting to incorporate more carbs for the next two months because I am taking a diet break. Okay. Still keeping my food clean. Now that is one thing I want to talk to you guys. Just because I'm taking a break from doing keto doesn't mean I'm going to eat dog. Shit, okay. And what I mean by that is like, I'm not going to go to fast food restaurants. I'm not going to be eating at McDonald's. I'm not going to be eating at Wendy's, Taco Bell, all these crazy places. I'm still going to eat good, healthy food, but I'm going to incorporate things that I typically don't eat, like rice, sweet potato, maybe some watermelon, some pineapple, things like that. And take advantage of these next two months, maybe even longer, because I am technically, I say, I always use quotation, air quotes, off season, because I am a wannabe bodybuilder. <laughs> um, obviously, you know, off seasons are gonna be more than two months long. They should be, you know, anywhere from minimum eight months long, but who knows? I just know for sure for the next two months, I'm gonna be eating food that I typically don't eat, but still keeping it healthy. So this is meal number two, guys. Macros, boom, right there. I'm gonna dig in and show you the first bite. Look at that. So you gotta get everything in there. You gotta get the meat, you gotta get the broccoli, you gotta get the sweet poppy sauce. Wow. Don't be jealous, guys. This right here is by far my favorite meal. I have it every day while I'm here at the office, and it's just so good. I highly, highly recommend you try it. So all you need is either chicken or ground turkey, vegetables, sweet poppy sauce, sriracha maple vinaigrette sauce that you can get, link in the description below. Use my discount code, save yourself some doll hairs, and support my diaper fund and my formula fund for my babies. Some rice or cauliflower rice, depending on whether you do keto or not. And then top that bad boy off with either peanut butter or almond butter, and boom! You got yourself an anabolic, bodybuilding, high protein meal. 
So now we're on meal number three for the day and we're gonna keep this protein train going. So shout out to Colorado Craft Beef, guys. They sent me a bunch of steaks last night. Like, literally, Christmas came early. Um, got me some steaks right here. I believe these are, let's see, this is a beef New York strip. So that is what's gonna be for meal number three, some steak. Gonna make some rice, put a little bit of sriracha maple vinaigrette, a little bit of sweet poppy sauce, and yes, guys, you guessed it. I am going to put peanut butter with this meal. I'm telling you, I know you're like, dude, are you seriously, Logan? Are you literally gonna put steak and peanut butter together? Are you mental? Well, yes, I am mental, but I'm telling you guys, do not knock it until you try it. This is also one of my go-to bodybuilding meals uh, when I was in prep, guys. Steak, almond butter, a little bit of rice, and boom, you're good to go. So let's get the steak ready. Just gonna throw some salt, some pepper, get everything cooked, and then I'll show you the finished product. steak I got my rice cooking together we're gonna throw a little bit of this sweet poppy right here just a little bit you don't need a lot just drizzle just a little bit there you go and then instead of using the sriracha maple vinaigrette I'm gonna go ahead and use the yum yum sauce so just a little bit like so perfect and then we're gonna mix this bad boy up and this dish right here is going to taste amazing once you top it off with a little bit of peanut butter. Wow, look at meal number three. I don't think I've eaten one bad meal today. I think if you tried every single meal in this video, you'd be like, dude, what is dieting? And what the heck is going on upstairs? <laughs> Since apparently there's no one here. Um, okay, anyways, could be a ghost. Um, all right, so like I said, guys, meal number three, New York strip steak with 100 grams of rice and 30 grams of peanut butter going down. Absolutely down. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What if I told you you can eat delicious food just like this, still build muscle, still lose weight, still stay lean and enjoy it and feel like you're never on a diet, you would say, dude, sign me up. It's all about thinking outside the box, guys. I watch so many bodybuilders, I watch so many people go through their diet, go through their prep, and they're eating the same boring thing. Chicken, rice, oatmeal, veggies, boring, right? You gotta switch it up. Throw a little bit of peanut butter on there. Get the diet hacking sauces from Gaines Bakery. They have seven different sauces and more. Combine those sauces with your food, and it's game over, absolutely game over. So there you go, meal number three, macros, boom. Right there, we'll see you on meal number four. Boom. All right guys, so we just got done working out. We knocked out some shoulders and some traps, still feeling pumped. And this is actually a really easy meal. So this is meal number five for the day. And this is typically what I do post-workout. So I'm gonna have two scoops of keto meal right here, guys. If you don't know what keto meal is, it's a true keto meal replacement. This is uh, by far my favorite flavor. This is the uh, vanilla cake. Why? Because vanilla cake goes with everything, right? Vanilla can go with anything. You wanna throw in some chocolate, throw some chocolate. You wanna throw in some pumpkin pie spice. Whatever you want, everything always goes good with vanilla. So this is just a simple, quick little meal. Uh, and what I do right here is I'm just gonna mix in about eight ounces of unsweetened almond milk. Okay, we've got about eight ounces right there. So we got our almond milk and then two scoops. And then that's it, guys. Then we get ready for dinner a little bit later on tonight, which I am gonna eat the other half of that Colorado steak and then probably some rice and, I don't know, something else. But that's gonna be it. So here it is, meal number five going down. Technically, guys, I don't even know where my macros are at this point. Like, I'm sure I'm gonna have to add them up before that last meal to see where I'm at because, again, 
I'm mostly focusing on protein when it comes to building muscle. Not too worried about the carbs, whether I have a super high carb day or a really low carb day. I really don't aim for high carb days. I just go with the way I feel. I structure my carbs around my workout. So as you see, the last two meals had carbs in them. That was before my workout. And then now that I'm done, just gonna have like a quick little protein shake. And then tonight, I may have a lot of carbs, may not, just depending on how I feel. Main thing, focus on the protein if you want to build muscle. And then fat, again, you know I'm not scared of fat. I mean, come on, I come from the keto world, so definitely not scared of fat. Fat is not gonna make you fat. So here we go, two scoops, keto meal going in. And also, guys, I, got, I have to show you this. For everyone who is new to the channel, look at this guy. Look, look at that guy. Oh, I almost look like him. Yes, that is me right there. So if you guys do want a discount code on keto meal, I'm telling you, if you don't have time to cook, if you're always on the go, if you got meetings, if you never know where you're gonna be and you're tired of doing fast food, get yourself a keto meal replacement. It's broken down into 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carbs. And like I said, I have a crazy discount. GB30 for 30% off. Cheers. The heck you're riding those bikes in the house? Yeah. What in the world? Daddy. <laughs> and you, what are you doing? Baby. You ruined your baby for a ride? Yeah. All right, let's go. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Come on, switch it around, girl. Come on. Woo! Wee! <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So this is the last meal of the night. So it may look like a pretty random meal, but it's going to get the job done. So we have one bag of my favorite Quest chips right here. This is the chili and lime ones, absolutely love it. We have an eight ounce steak right there, as you can see, with a little bit of Dollar Dollar Dill Ranch, courtesy of Gaines Bakery. Uh, the Dollar Dollar Dill Ranch is my favorite. Ross said it's like the one that people least get, but I, like seriously, I love it. Like I can go through it every two weeks. And then we got a bowl of cream of rice right there. As you can see, hopefully you guys can see that. Cream of rice right there. And we got some Walden Farms pancake syrup. We got some cinnamon, and then I threw a little stevia in there, and that is going to be it, guys. This is the last meal of the night. So as you can see, we got that savory steak. We got those protein chips, that crunchy feeling, and then we got that little dessert, the cream of rice with the sugar-free pancake syrup and cinnamon. So kind of getting all palates taken care of uh, before we go to bed. So macros for this meal, boom, right there. I still haven't technically added up all my macros. I'll do that on the next clip, but gonna enjoy this meal, guys. Let's dig in. What, what should we dig into first? Come on, you already know that. We gotta dig into that steak, baby. So let's rub some of this dollar dollar dill ranch. Oh man, man, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Gains, 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 look at that. Yeah. Meat, baby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Lola, what you eating? Uh, rice. Rice? Say hi to the camera. Hi. Say hi. That's my sister. Say hi to her. Oh, hi, Mina. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name? I'm Logan Page. Logan Page, and you're eating some rice and chicken? Yeah. Sounds pretty good. That's kind of weird. How can you be eating if you're watching TV? Because uh, I can't watch it. <laughs> okay. Mina doesn't care so much. She's just eating. She's my little garbage disposal. Dada. <laughs> Dada. That's right. Dada. That's right. Dada. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay guys, so coming live from my garage. I gotta talk to you my garage because my girls are asleep and I do not want to wake them up because as you can see, it is currently 12.07. So, <laughs> it's gonna be a late night, guys. I'm editing right now as we speak, so. Um, all right, so total macros for the day, guys, were actually not that bad, but they were definitely pretty random. So, 227 grams of protein. Boom, that's what I want. I'm aiming for about... 1.2, maybe even higher grams per body weight. Currently, I'm probably, I don't know, like right, 185, 
maybe 190 not sure haven't weighed myself since the show and then my carbs were 126 so and i want to touch on that because i know a lot of my og subscribers who are watching this maybe don't know about my diet break that i take every two months i know they're probably watching this like dude what the heck dude you're eating rice you're not doing keto anymore what are you doing and i know people who probably do a lot of carbs who typically eat a high carb diet are like bro 126 what are you doing so i'm getting crap from both ends right i'm getting crap from people who do high carb diets saying bro it's not enough carbs i'm getting crap from people who do keto like bro you're eating too much carbs look i'm not gonna please anybody that's why i'm just doing me okay i'm just doing me i'm eating the foods that i want to eat for my goals okay you got to do what works for you so that being said 126 grams of carbs is not a lot guys it's really not and again in my personal opinion this is just my opinion okay don't Mind your business, all right? Mind your business. I'm not trying to start off a massive discussion right now, okay? I'm just saying my opinion. I don't think you need 300 to 400 grams of carbs every single day to build muscle. I think 126 grams of carbs is perfectly fine, especially when you time it around your workouts. You take advantage of those carbs, you utilize those carbs, and put them to work for your workout. I think you can build lean muscle mass and stay lean. I think if you want to go on that dirty bulk, that full-on off-season bulk where you just look puffy and round, not very appealing. That's 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 not what I want. Like I'm not going for that. If I wanted to go full-out blown off-season, sure, I'd be eating 400 to 450 grams of carbs every single day and just get super bloated. Sure, would I gain muscle? Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to tell because I would just look like a big balloon. That's not what I want, okay? I want that lean muscle mass, and I want to stay relatively lean and look like I lift, right? That's my ultimate goal. And so, um, like I said, I don't think you need 400 grams. That's why I think 120 to 150 is just going to be fine for me. And then when it came to fat, I had 106 grams of fat. So, Again, not bad, um, a little bit low if you're doing keto, maybe a little bit high if you're doing high carb, but for me, I think that's perfectly fine. And so those were my macros for the day. Let's look at the calories, 2,360 once. So slightly under my goal. My goal was to get 2,600 calories, but hey, didn't happen. It's all good, not gonna panic. Whether I go over my calories for the day or I went under my calories, at the end of the week, it will all balance out, okay? So remember that, guys, don't try to be perfect every single day, okay? It'll all balance out. And like I said, I'm taking a break from trying to be perfect when it comes to macros. Am I still tracking? Yes, but I'm really not tracking everything. I'm obviously tracking for this video. I'm doing this for you guys, but if this was not a filming day, I would have not tracked this. I probably only would have tracked my protein and that's it. Because at this point, that's all I really care about. So Anyways, guys, there you go. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you did like this video, please hit that like button. Please share it. That really helps me out and helps the algorithm. So I would appreciate it. I would love you forever. Come on, help your boy out. And if you guys are looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, now that my show's over, I'm gonna have a lot more time. And so I'm opening a lot more slots. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, daily check-in, weekly meal plans, weekly check-in with pictures. There's a link in the description below to apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yes, you have to apply because I'm not just going to accept anybody. I have to make sure you're willing to give me 110%. And in return, I will give you 110% of my time. So there you go, guys. We'll see you on the next video. I absolutely love you. Peace.